guys welcome back this is Val from Dreamlight in today's video I'm gonna show you how to control light fall off inside Dash Studio now if you've been using Dash Studio for a while then you may be aware that Dash Studio has fall off on the lights but it's not something you can adjust right but sometimes it can be good to somehow adjust that anyway uh, because sometimes we want kind of less fall off or sometimes you want more fall off for different effects so let me show you how that works. I'm gonna blacken my backlight and filler and just go with the key light. And right now I have my key light rather closely to my model. And you can see that uh, she receives a lot of lighting in her face, but then it kind of fades throughout the body. This is something desirable in your renders to focus the lighting on the face, right? But Let's say you want more of that. Let's say you want more of light of the lighting to hit her face, but less on the body. And of course you can narrow down, this is a normal spotlight, right? You can narrow down the spread angle, but I'm gonna show you how to do that with fall off because it has interesting um, side effects, so to speak, all right? So let's go to our key light and move it really close. All right. Now, what happens when you have the light that close is that it, of course, generates a lot of, you know, uh, light in your face, but we can then tune it down, right, to maybe 15. All right, and what that now creates, maybe let's try 20, what that now creates is that, I'm just, there we go is that you see the fall off even more dramatic now okay we are literally hitting her face and upper body and then it quickly quickly fades away so this is something you can use to your advantage when you want the lights to be more targeted right now let's do vice versa if i move this light really really far away super 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 far away what happens then is that the relative distance between an upper and lower body becomes equalized because we are so far away. So uh, if I now click on the key light and increase it to maybe 200, let's increase some more. So now suddenly we have the light hitting her everywhere. It's more equalized now, right? It's a totally different type of lighting. Let's do some more. Uh, when you're all that far away, the light becomes less, you know, uh, powerful, so to speak. So you need to scale it up a little bit so it hits her with more intensity. There we go. All right. So that is a totally different animal. It lights everywhere pretty much evenly. All right. And that is a different type of effect. And sometimes it's desirable. Sometimes it's not. I would say this is pretty desirable for a filler, maybe not for a key light, but there is another advantage or disadvantage in being that far away and, or close to your model. And when being far away, we are getting kind of a little bit more harsher shadows because the character in the view of the light is kind of small, so only a portion of the light truly hits your character right so we can see that the light is more harsh on her now if we go a little bit closer something maybe like that let's equalize it slightly and let's tune down the intensity now we can see that the light not only fades away but it is also uh, more gentle how is that well because the light is now closer to her more of the lights rays are hitting her and also from different angles because the light is almost on top of her so it spreads in different ways it spreads on top of her upper body and face in, and arms in different ways because the light let me just do wireframe uh, hidden line you can see that the light almost hits her from top down on her uh, thighs as well right so it's a totally different type of light now not just because it's uh, more uh, has a quicker fade away 
fade off or fall off, but it also illuminates her more gently. Okay, so now you have those two distinctive differences. So go ahead, use them to your advantage. Guys, that's pretty much all for today. Now, if you like this video and want to see more of Dash Studio, then check out the $1 seven day trial below. All right. Have fun with your art, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon again.